Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. A new racket from Wilson came into the mailbox, not quite the mailbox, but to Henrik, my friend Henrik who writes for Tennis Nerd, he's been in many videos and I've been hitting with him in Stuttgart for example with the Tennis Warehouse event. So he's very knowledgeable about rackets, we have done many podcast episodes together so check those out and he reviews pretty much all the new frames. And this time he got a new frame from Wilson with the name Shift. It's similar in the design to the Clash, that it's kind of like a white silvery design uh, made to not make you see the lines, like this kind of what they do in the car industry where they have, uh, they, they have like these optical tricks to not make you be able to see, you know, what this racket is, the mold is and so on. It came strong with all the power, uh, so we don't have on strong specs yet. The specs are approximately 305 grams on strong. The head size is 99 square inches and the beam is around 22, 23 millimeters, which is more like a head speed in territory. 1620 string pattern, so that's quite different. Uh, the, the profile looks more like a blade inspired, but it plays with more power according to Henrik. Less power than the Ultra, but uh, a bit more power maybe than like a Blade 100. So somewhere in the middle there, it's not like a spin-focused racket, uh, but it swings very fast. That's what Henrik told me. And there's some footage here in this video where we can see of Henrik hitting with this frame. We will update you more as uh, the playtest uh, goes along. Sadly, I have not received uh, a playtest racket. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe because I'm in, in Malta or they're angry with me because I, I gave some bad reviews in the past. Uh, but uh, this seems interesting. I would love to try it. I might meet Henrik in Marbella in early December, uh, where I have a chance to hit with this frame, he's gonna bring it. And obviously we're gonna review it on the channel and let you know what we think. He obviously needs more time, he's played a few hours with it. Uh, the swing weight is quite low, 308, uh, so it is a very fast but not super stable frame. It doesn't have that inherent power there, he tried customizing it but it didn't react great to some weight, so he's gonna find like a more balanced approach. He, he tried to put it up to his normal specs, which is like a 325 swing weight, but this racket seemed to play better with a slightly lower swing weight, maybe 315. Uh, so interesting thing from Wilson Labs. I mean, they, they did the clash. The clash was a huge success. The whole marketing campaign was genius and everything worked out really well. We will see if the shift is uh, similar. It doesn't seem to be as extreme in terms of a racket as the clash was with very low stiffness rating and arm friendly focus. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where the shift is in their uh, product line, but I would say it's more similar towards the speed just by talking to Henrik about this racket. So. A uh, powerful but controlled modern frame uh, tries to find that balance, that middle sweet spot where it's not too extreme in power but still relatively forgiving with the slightly larger head size. So more to come about the Wilson shift. If you've tried this, there are 300 prototypes in the world. Henrik got number 99. Uh, so if you've tried this frame and you have comments, let me know or reach out. I'm curious to hear what people think about this new racket from Wilson and it's always interesting and exciting when when they do these types of launches and releases. So some very very first impressions about this new racket Wilson Shift. I would assume it's out early next year in its finished cosmetic if they do something similar to the Clash launch. Uh, so for now it's just a you know a prototype period people will get their impressions. Not sure if there will be changes after that or they will just reveal the finished cosmetic. Obviously it's already uh, designed and ready to be released. Uh, they, they work usually two years in advance, the racket company. So it's not like they have to come up with that last minute. According to uh, a source who contacted me via Instagram, I don't remember the name, I'm sorry. Uh, this is actually what Sebastian Corda has been using and not the Blade 98. That's why his racket is, is painted black. I cannot verify this information, but it could very well be true. Uh, that means that there's an 1819 version of the shift, or perhaps he has a special string pattern. I don't know. But, you know, you have to take everything with a pinch of salt. But yeah, it could very well be that Corda is playing with the new shift. And we will see if he is the face of the launch campaign when they finally reveal the, the product and the all the finished specs and everything else. So thanks to Henrik for submitting pictures and video and uh, testing this frame. More to come, please subscribe. If you're looking for the perfect racket for your game, check out my 
consultation service. Uh, you can just click help on tennisner.net. So I have a consultation and I have my course, The Road to the Right Racket, where you get all the information you need to pick the right racket for your game. So I really recommend that. I'm describing my racket journey in depth and on my Patreon, patreon.com slash tennis nerd. I offer lots of extra content, chat function, and so on. So hopefully you find that worth your while. That's it. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.